Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen and students and prospective students. If you can hear me today, if you are here today, that means you're really interested in pursuing your career and your educational goals much more than what you have already done. Huh? So welcome to Segi University and for a change, and while today he's supposed to interview me for a change, I'm the one who's going to introduce him. Let oh me take the pleasure of introducing you to Mr. Samson Saktivelu. Thank you so much. And Prophet, Samsung, yeah. Go ahead, sir. Samsung has been here in Segi University for over 15 years. Huh? And I don't think many people know about this, but he's been instrumental for bringing in so many students to Segi, helping them reach for their career goals, helping them plan what they want to do for their career. In fact, the first person you meet when you walk into Segi is this gentleman here. So please have a look at this face properly and carefully. And uh, uh, welcome and thank you so much for deciding to ask me questions. Over to you. Thank you so much, uh, Professor Srikumar. Of course, 15 years, I came with uh, black hair. Oh. I came here with uh, full hairs, but you know, all is not there anymore. <laughs> yeah, Professor Srikumar, thank you for being with us today. Yeah? Uh, audiences, uh, Professor Srikumar is the uh, Deputy Vice Chancellor at Sugi University and Colleges. Uh, Professor Srikumar, thank you for your time. Thank you for being with us. Thank uh, you so gonna, much. We're going to source out all the valuable information, knowledge uh, from you today for our, for our viewers, uh, for them to make a decision into the research uh, journey. Wonderful. All right. I'm all yours. Squeeze Good. me like a sugar yes. cane in a machine. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Professor. Professor Sri Kumar, the title of the uh, an audience, the title of the uh, discussion today will be Crushing PhD and Research into Crumbs. You ask and Professor Sri Kumar will answer. Okay. Professor Sri Kumar, the first question, yeah? Many working professionals are interested in doing PhD research, yeah? But, but the stopping point has always been, do I, have the, uh, do I have the time to do it? Am I capable to do it? And research is very hard. Uh, is, is research is for me? Can you elaborate on this matter today, audience, uh, Professor? Yeah, thank you so much. Huh? Well, thank sure. you. This is a very valid question. You see, there are many students who actually done their bachelor's and master's. And the bachelor's could be coursework or taught work and master's is taught work. But when you come to your PhD, it is all about research. So is there any way of doing your PhD without research? The answer is in reality, no, because in PhD, you actually have to go through a thesis based on the research that's done. So is research meant for me? Anybody who has a curious mind, who has critical thinking, who keeps asking why can do research. Now, anybody, huh? For even a movie that you watch on Netflix, you would go on Google to see mm -hmm. what is the IMDb rating. Only if the rating is good, you would watch the movie. Oh, of course. Of course. And even if you go, want to go shop for something, maybe you want to shop for the uh, TV on uh, uh, in uh, one of the shops in Mid Valley. Right. You would first go online and check it out on Shopee and Lazada. Of course. So all this is research. Oh. So when you can do research at this level, when you want to do a PhD, the same research is carried out at a higher magnitude. So is research for me, if that is the question, yes. For the present 21st century, yeah, research is the game and name for everybody who is into education. Uh -huh. So nobody can say that I cannot do research or I do not want to do research. We've all been doing research at various points and at various levels. A simple example, yeah, even when you post up a picture on Facebook or Instagram, Every two hours, you would go and see how many people have liked it or how right, many people right. have loved it right. and so on. That itself is a form of research. You are researching as to how many people have reached your post. Is the post useful in social media? Is it creating an attractive uh, uh, audience and so on? So, ladies and gentlemen, anybody and everybody can do research. It is that that you have to be trained by a good supervisor, which I can answer later on if you have questions. Definitely, definitely. So, Professor, that means you're, you're mentioning that life is about research then. Exactly. Yes, life is about research. Yeah. We Mr. buy a house, we do research. Yeah. Mr. Samson, yeah. Go ahead, when you sir. got married, huh? I'm sure you've done a lot of research before you selected the right person. For the record, Professor, my wife is watching this. Oh, that's so... nice. I'm sure she would agree. I'm sure she would have done research to actually select you. For everything we do research, without a research, we cannot get into any commitment, whether it is a house or a wedding or an educational degree, or any major investment or decision in life. Right. And decisions are decisions, huh? whether right or wrong. In many cases, we make a lot of wrong decisions in life, but stick to it. I'm sure that once you take a decision, it's going to lead to where you are. In other right. words, huh? 
decisions make the destiny right so what and when they come into to say university they understand and they do research on a higher magnitude That's exactly what saying yeah? very good, very good. very good very good uh professor uh, sri kumar we do have many research program in the university we have patient management uh, for corporate people uh, for academicians we also have patient in engineering you know we have patient in it you know can you uh, run us through uh, who our supervisors are and uh, how important are they for the university and for the students too thank you so much huh? ladies and gentlemen this is telecast by segi university but at this point in time i am not selling segi university i am basically analyzing this as a researcher and as a person who would offer service to students phd is offered in many universities choose a university which has high level and mid level supervisors high level supervisors are those who have a lot of funding nationally and internationally but the high level supervisors may not have much time but they have a lot of funding mid level supervisors are those that have a lot of time for you who will be able to devote time who will be able to bring you up because their presence their promotion also depends on how much they support you but they may not have much funding there is a third category called low level supervisors who are just beginners there are many universities which function with just low level supervisors now coming to segi again i'm not selling the program but considering that we have our top selling courses like phd in education phd in engineering and business most of our supervisors are top level or mid level some of our supervisors are those who have retired from government universities and they bring in a lot of experience some of our supervisors are those who have been here 15 20 universities and they have done some top notch cutting edge research work and brought in a lot of funds oh that's brilliant so we do have a lot of wonderful researchers and our top selling courses are in business and education the thing about business and education is it reaches internationally across all borders so you have people from many countries who are attending our programs we have a lot of international students attending our phd programs and uh, uh, the advantage of a phd is it is flexible you don't have to be here full time in your classroom sitting because a lot of your work is research work it is research based professor so you right. can actually do it From, from your home, home country from, yeah really? from home oh, country okay. as long as you are actually doing a, a survey you're meeting up with your supervisors right. regularly now again don't get me wrong and that doesn't mean you can sit in some country and finish the entire course we have certain ministry regulations for the people to be here for a particular <coughs> amount of time understood that's it so that means they can be here and they can be in their home country uh, on, on a certain period of time yes. and they, they can complete it and when talk about international uh, students uh, professor sri kumar can you can you tell us from which country are they from are they all over the world okay. the university as a whole the university and group of colleges we are proud to say that we have 22000 students from over 90 countries and wow. still counting brilliant now focusing on the phd program alone as of last week we have 2066 students from over 20 countries aha uh-huh. 2000 students yes wow that that's impressive yeah. we're doing the research studies in the university professor sri kumar yes that's 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 brilliant and how are we uh, you see how are we guiding uh, these students uh, professor sri kumar because most of the students who are doing uh, research study they are working you know they are working they are working at us uh, what is the university role and how are we as a university how do we guide the student in order for them to complete uh, the research program on time when a student does a phd you know, there are two ways of doing it one is you finish your masters and go on and do your full time phd the other is you become a working adult like what you have said now and as a working adult you can dedicate part of your time for your phd work and continue working now how does this work is it going to be difficult and most important now ask yourself why are you doing it if you're doing it say to go to the us to migrate and all that forget it you can leave the meeting right now this is not for you if you're doing it for ego purposes forget it if you're doing it to please your girlfriend or boyfriend forget it but if you're doing it to contribute something to add to more research more technology more benefits to the society and the world thank you you may be the person if you're doing it because you want to be a critical thinker yes if you're doing it because in some countries you will need a phd for your promotion or your career growth 
otherwise you would reach stagnation in such cases yes these are the people who are the working adults who want to do the phd so for working adults the phd is structured in such a way that we plan it across three phases especially in segi university we plan it across the first year where the student plans to uh, uh, the supervisor supports the student in deciding on what topic they want to do in the second year they decide on um, uh, what they need to do for their uh, proposal and submit the um, uh, their work for a proposal defense and finish the proposal defense by the end of the second year and by third year we plan for them to finish the thesis and then finish the thesis viva by the end of the third year so we want them to finish the phd thesis by the end of the third year even though a phd program ideally is a four year program there are many universities that say four to six years mqa approval is for up to six years for part time but when you apply for jobs later on uh, if you have done your phd in 6 years it doesn't reflect very well oh, okay. so okay. ideally a student should do a phd in 4 years oh, that's right. why a supervisor would kick the student out of the program in 4 years they say finish it in 4 years and just leave that is good for you that is good for your career and it is even good for me as a supervisor that i have supervised the student within 2 years so when you ask what has a supervisor done the supervisor plans the student stages in these three phases across approximately 1 year each which is good for the student and good for the supervisor as well remember our supervisors train you well because the better they train you the better their profile is to get in more students and why should they get their profile to get in more students because they will attract more funding and the more funding they get they can pay you some stipend or honorarium so you do have some phd fees but for that when the supervisor gets an frgs funding or an international funding or a stipend or or a funding by which they pay you a stipend it will help you cover your living expenses oh. in the so we do have this as well professor yes yes we do if for our student, research student yes yeah? if the student is able to bring in a funding or a grant in the project uh, there is a certain amount of money which i may not be able to commit on the money on because okay. we are online okay. Okay. Uh, legally it is not right to commit on the money Understood. but the student can get enough funding on a monthly basis which can cover his basic living expenses and food accommodation and food if he stays somewhere it's a good place. news professor sikuma for yes, the for students is. who have an intention to do a research it is so uh, for all of you uh, audience who have uh, you know if you have some that you want to pursue a research program uh, this is something that you need to consider sigi university we do have definitely yeah. we reach out to bodies to help to get funds for you in fact it is not we who get funds for you we make you prepare your proposal and pitch it for funds so who gets the funds you get it you nice you. nice we support you the supervisor supports you we make you confident and firm and independent you are independent learners in segi university you are not mollycoddled by supervisors you are not doing what the supervisor wants you to do but you are doing what you want to do the supervisor supports and guides you on selecting your topic making sure the topic is brilliant fun. brilliant 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 thank you so much this is a good news uh, indeed uh, professor kuma audience uh, you know that you are you know if you come up with a research topic you know uh, you are eligible for certain stipend yeah or oh, definitely final question uh, professor kuma how does a phd uh, or research program adds value to one career's opportunities why they need to do it statistics show that in many cases people who registered for a phd drop out midway because they lose focus they lose faith they feel they're not doing well that is where the supervisor's role comes in if you drop midway that means your supervisor is not supportive the university is not supportive so look for a program where you have dedicated supervisors and dedicated universities of course fees is an important factor that is something that i cannot comment online but you could choose between universities and choose a university with the best fees but remember universities like us will offer a stipend that offsets a certain percentage of the fees of course of course so once you do all this and you finish your phd program remember phd program is not like any other thing if it's a girlfriend you can break up if it's a wedding you can divorce if it's a house you can sell if it's anything else if it's a property you can always sell but if it's a phd program huh, complete it to the end because your phd is going to come with you as a doctor until your grave uh -huh. okay so if it is going to come with you until your grave your question of how is it going to help you doesn't make sense because your partner in life will not come to you until your grave 
but the doctor will remain in your gravestone the doctor is going to help you to get a promotion and increment and you could even start your own consultancy services or you could even be the boss or a dean or even a vice chancellor or even a ceo of a university the benefits are limitless right it is your destiny that would take you where you want to do provided you have the courage and confidence to do it so the answer is not the phd but it is you right. you and you again definitely uh, prof sikoma dr samson solves better than samson exactly after the talk i am going to actually talk to you first to see how best we can have you right, as a phd right. student you've been here uh, 15 years yeah this is something that i'm yeah. looking into yes yeah i need to sort it out i will talk to you and uh, your team uh, as well how we can pursue and you too uh, viewers uh, if you have you know for the questions you know uh, you want to know for the for the matters about the research program in the university uh, professor sri kumar and the team is here to supervise us here we have all the resources needed we almost have a lot of phd program in the university uh definitely we will always assist you we'll be there to guide you uh professor kumar before we end the session do you have any advice of a potential researchers that were still thinking of doing the research program i don't have any advice but all i can say is that remember when you make a choice huh, this, these uh, these webinar sessions are not about you in deciding or making a choice or trying to complete your phd go ahead and crush it it is a challenge for you crush the challenge all of us can crush a challenge it's how well we do it we just finish a race or we run fast and finish it first the person who finishes it first is the person who crushes the challenge so finish it first you are not competing against anybody else you are competing against yourself so remember in life huh, don't see that he is like this he is like this he is done better than me or he is not done better than me and so on don't compare yourself to others compare yourself to yourself because you are your own competitor in life and the best way to get better is to be better than what you were yesterday or the previous year that is how you need to compare yourself don't compare yourself to anybody else you are nobody's competitor or friend or enemy or a frenemy you are a competitor to yourself oh brilliant thank you for this valuable advice i will say this is a valuable advice yeah because most of the time we are competing with others yeah, yeah. right thank you so much uh, professor sri kumar thank you for your time thank you so much thank you samson i should thank you uh, for right. all the efforts that you and the team has made in actually bringing out uh, resource people i wouldn't say experts but resource people to help to be able to connect with the students this is what we need and for those who are watching this uh, if you can actually click the like button or give your feedback we can have more sessions like this or more reviews like this we could actually have one to one interaction with our experts and uh, we could see how best we could be of support to you later on remember ladies and gentlemen education is not a business but it is a service and we wish to offer the best of service to you oh. we come from a uh uh qs five star plus university and what better services can we offer to you rather than education which is our main service it is not a business thank you thank you uh, thank you so much uh, professor kumar our deputy vice chancellor at the university uh thank you audience for being with us uh Uh, we have ended the session for research program, and we will meet you again in another few more minutes uh, for the next session. We have uh, Dr. Fu, uh, who is the deputy dean uh, for Faculty of Optometry and Vision Sciences. Uh, we will see you in short while. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you.